Hey guys, we live Jeep, and uh, I was gonna show you the new paint job I got on the Jeep. And it, I basically paid 30 bucks for this paint job. And uh, I figured I'd make a video, show you guys how I did it, what process I used, and what paint I used and whatnot. So basically all this is is a Rust-Oleum camo paint job, the little camo line, they, uh, line of paints they have at Walmart and whatnot. And uh, I use the um, sand. If you look on the little code on the bottom, it says sand. That's the, the, the shade of tan it is. And then the camo, just black. And uh, it's pretty good looking. And uh, I think I used five cans of black, three cans, no, three cans of black, five cans of tan. And um, basically just taped everything off. Painted the bottom half black, put the top half tan. And uh, first thing you want to do before you start painting is get some sanding sponges and just sand everything down lightly to a factory paint just to get a little rough then wash it down get all that dust and whatnot off of it and uh and start painting one thing i will say about this paint though is it, it leaves the dust on it after your first layer of paint so every layer of paint you put on you need to wipe it all that dust off i still have the dust on the roof i'll show you what i mean if you look see what i mean There's, that dust is still up here i didn't really wipe i didn't do a very thick coat on the roof because I wasn't too worried about it, but the sides and stuff, before you put another coat on, you want to get that dust off. It's kind of weird how that paint leaves that dust on there, but you want to get that, that dust off, otherwise it's, like, it's going to contaminate the paint and it won't come out right. And there's a few spots on here where I didn't take the dust off. And uh, there you go. I mean, 30 bucks. A couple cans of rust -oleum. So just sand it down a little bit. Um, start painting it. Then once you get that first layer is a little dry, you wipe that dust off and put your second and third layer on until it's uh, full and I definitely got a few compliments all right and it's only been a few days and I just use tape and box cardboard to get everything covered up I didn't even take these off I just put tape around them the roses and badges and uh, yeah it's been a couple days I didn't think it would hold up very well but I mean it's I scratched it in a few spots and you can't really tell. I mean, obviously, my little paint looked horrible in the first place. So I basically used my hood as a workbench. But other than that, I mean, I love it. Lots of looks, and uh, I think it looks good. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe for more videos, guys. Thanks.